This PHP tutorial about multi-dimensional arrays follows on from my previous tutorial, Arrays. So if you haven't already watched that, even if you know how arrays work, um, watch it anyway just because I'm following on from my previous example um, of these three people um, and their age. And we're basically going to add a bit more information about each person uh, with the use of multi-dimensional arrays. So in the last example uh, you saw that I could say echo out names and I could choose someone so for example Billy uh, and I could come in and I could refresh and I get the age of 16 up the blonde you just saw back there was an example of what we are going to be doing just so you know so we've produced the result 16 from Billy now what if I want to store more than just their age um, you know, I want to store the hair colour, the age, for example, where they live. It could be absolutely anything. We're basically building it up. So we're we're taking each person, but we're giving them a variety of, you know, of information about them. And the reason this is called multi-dimensional arrays is because it has more than one dimension. We can add an array within an array within another array. So for now, I'm not going to go into too much detail about putting three arrays together or, or, or two arrays inside another array or an array in an array in another array. I'm just going to show you uh, a two-dimensional array. So let's just look a bit more carefully at this because at the moment, if we do start to create another an array, it's another array, it's going to look a bit messy. So the great thing about this is I can pull these down on two different lines. And PHP lets you do this. Um, as long as you don't forget your line terminator, you don't need a line terminator at the end of every line, obviously. But this will still run. So let's refresh the page just to make sure everything is still working. Yeah. So we've got this on uh, each line. Now I'm going to take away each of the ages, and instead for each of the um, each of these keys, the value. So remember, these are keys here, and the value is what I write here for each um, value I'm gonna actually create another array so let's do that for each person create another array so we've already created essentially what is a multi-dimensional array however we haven't assigned any you know individual properties of these people and you know, values inside this so what we're going to do is for Alex, we're going to store, well, for everyone, we're going to store their age and their hair color. So we're going to do exactly the same as we've done before. I'm going to say age, and that's going to be equal to 21. And then I'm going to say hair blonde. So these are our keys, these are our values. So hair is the key, blonde is the value. So now we've stored two bits of data about, or two properties of Alex. Um, we can do exactly the same with Billy. So I'm just going to copy and paste these down. Uh, age 20, uh, age 16 now, and hair. I'm going to say brown. Uh, for Dale as well, I'm going to say age 49, and hair. I'm going to say uh, we'll say blonde as well. So now what we've done is we've got, you know different properties of this person. I mean these could go on forever and then we could even create say another array say it and this could be like you know their favorite let's just say uh, food. I'll, I'll create it just for Alex anyway um, so food um, array um, let's just say this is the favorite food I'm gonna create two one's gonna be pizza and the other is going to be pasta so this is a three dimensional in in respect to Alex because we've got an array inside an array inside another array um, and let's put it down a bit now we need to access each element so for example echo names Dale now what's this going to produce because Dale is equal to an array so let's refresh this and you can see that it's just come up with array so now we think, well, how are we going to find out Dale's age or Dale's hair color? In actual fact, all we do is we put another set of uh, square brackets next to it, 
with the property uh, with the key name so age is 49 so this is essentially all we need to do now we're just gonna get 49 displayed in our browser and then we can again change this to hair so we can see that what we've actually done now it's displaying bond now you can see what essentially we've done is stored different properties about each um, about each uh, user the same with Billy Billy has brown hair so now this should change now that I've changed Billy this should change to brown there we are so we're just essentially doing this over and over again so I'm going to change this now to Alex and I'm gonna say hair so that's gonna produce us a result of blonde because we've assigned Alex the um, hair color of blonde but now what I want to say is um, is I'm going to want to account all of Alex's favorite food so what I want to do is I want to say food um, and what I can do with this is print R as we've done before and now what this is going to do is this is going to show us the array of the food which is the favorite so now what I can do is uh, let's say get rid of that now and I want to echo out the first favorite food which is remember index of zero or the key of zero because this is the first one and this is relative to pizza so uh, as you saw in this example zero equals pizza now if I refresh pizza so I've put three different uh, sets of uh, square brackets on therefore it's a three-dimensional array so this is everything you really need to know about multi-dimensional arrays it sounds like a complex topic but all it essentially is is an array inside an array to allow you to add properties to each value of your array or element if you like so it's a simple concept but have a play around with it um, practice and eventually you'll get the hang of it and the uses it can have